Greetings, all! Ladies and gentlemen, I am finally back! <laughs> oh, what a nightmare it has been. So, allow me to break down basically what's been going on this entire time I've been absent, and what it means for this channel, and what I'm going to be doing in the future with this channel. So, first of all, the internet. Oh, jeez. Long story short, we had to switch internet providers. The reason why is ridiculous, and the reason why that happened is even more ridiculous. So I'll just try and put it as succinctly as I possibly can. So we had Verizon, and we've been having trouble with Verizon upload speed. It was going fine for a while, but over the last few months, for some reason things dipped down to the point where when I tried to upload videos, it would drag the entire property's Wi-Fi down to the ground, and my upload speed was a measly 0.1 megabits per second. And you don't have to be a computer expert to know that's really bad. That is really, really bad. And we'd call them several times to try and get things straightened out and fixed, you know? And every time we could get a technician to come out here, they'd come in and say there's nothing wrong with the line, and every time it wouldn't get any better. Eventually, I got sick and tired of it, and I realized that if they're not going to help us, then we need to get somebody who does. And so the entire household here came to the conclusion and the decision to switch over. We switch to Spectrum. And now I know Spectrum also does not always have the best reputation, but they're infinitely better. Especially out here. And when we had everything installed, we kind of found out why. So it turns out there's been an issue with older lines when trying to push voltage through them for the internet service. And with Verizon, these old lines. You know, they push them and push them and push them, but eventually they will short out in a sense, and then repairing them or replacing them is a big financial issue, especially because right now, as we were told, Verizon is not doing so well financially, so they're actually trying to dump customers by doing these kind of runaround situations in order to make it so they don't have to waste to expend the money to get things fixed. I'm going to be honest, that is a really scummy way of doing things, and I really don't like it. If you have a problem with the lines, and you just, you know, you don't want to, you know, look like an idiot, I understand that, but telling the honest truth is about as good as saving face at this point. You know, just tell us to switch. Just do that much. Don't be a dick, because that's what they were in these entire last few months in the summer. And given the situation globally with quarantine and everything, you can imagine it has been beyond irritating. But things are fixed. I am now on Spectrum's system, and we are at a massive 23.4 megabits per second on upload. An increase of 234 times. 234 times more, you know, faster than what I was doing with before. And I am so happy about that. Like the video I uploaded yesterday. Normally it would take like maybe 5 to 6 hours to upload on the old speed. Less than 10 minutes now. It was phenomenal. So I sing my praises, at least right now, towards Spectrum for being so much better than what I've been having to deal with for so long. With that said, you might be wondering, well, what exactly I've been doing with my time in quarantine? Well, on the one hand, I initially was just going to start making videos, you know, during the time I couldn't upload. So I have, you know, a nice archive. But the problem with that is that, given how much time there has been, doing so really kind of would have been a waste of my time. And honestly, a waste of your time, you know? So I instead took a break from making videos, and I spent the last couple of months or so playing Pokemon fan games and ROM hacks online. And I just want to say, it was a blast. It was nice to do something refreshing and different. It's going to be a little bit hard to get back into the swing of things because of that, because I've just been playing and playing. But I cannot say that it was not worth it. Because it has given me some ideas for some new content I want to put on here. So, what to expect from the future? Well, there was a VT episode, the VTP episode, I should say, that was going to be coming out, you know, at the end of the cycle that I had built up for. But I'm going to put that off for the moment, because I have something else I would like to try. It's going to be a while before I can get to it because I have a backlog of videos plus some other material I want to make and upload. And with that, there is also the upcoming Crown 
tundra. And that is also going to take quite a bit of time to get through, um, at least on my end. I will still be making content, obviously, but some of the bigger projects I want to work on are going to have to be put on the back burner. But once that's all said and done, I have an idea that I want to try out. Something more mainstream compared to what my usual content is. I'm planning on doing reviews of fan games and ROM hacks. Now, I know this isn't exactly something that's new to the table, but I think that given my work with VTP and my existence as a veteran trainer, I think I have a natural eye for being able to analyze these games to tell you whether or not they're worth playing. And, you know, waiting until after Crown Tundra is over to do that, that makes it more convenient for everybody involved. So, that's something to look forward to. And, in fact, to give you a little bit of a tease, the first one that I'm going to be working on is a review of a game called Pokemon Clover. And I'm going to be honest with you, when the video comes out, you might be a bit surprised as to what I have to say about it, but I'm not going to spoil anything about it. With that said, I'm going to be uploading the extra content that I had in storage and a bit of a quicker pace than normal, you know, and then I will get back to making more videos for you, and hopefully things will still turn out all right. Um, I have some other ideas that I'm cooking up at the moment, but that is all I really have to say for now. So to all of you who have been there for me, thank you for waiting. This has been a ludicrous nightmare for me trying to get this all figured out, and I'm very happy that you all were willing to be patient and stick around. I really appreciate that. And I can promise you, down the line, you will see the fruits of all that waiting come to fruition. I promise you. With that said, though, thank you very much for listening to this. A little update. And um, everybody, have a nice day.